All right, this video is just a quick, just a quick one to explain maybe where you should or shouldn't put food. This is just an idea I had that I think will become more obvious and more common in the future. Basically, I think that the microwave radiation, the radio frequency radiation emitted from that landline base, I think that it has a negative effect on the fruit, on the food, being this close. I think the fruit will be less nutritious. Uh, I'm not sure by what metric. I know you can get Brooks meters if you haven't heard of them. They're something that farmers use to measure the the nutrient status of, of different crops. I'm not sure if you would see a difference using that, but I think in the future there will be some sort of technology we can use to, to prove it. Or it might already exist that I just don't know about. But, you know, that we know that that has a negative effect on humans and animals. You know, why would we not just presume that it's going to have a negative effect on the quality of food as well? Um, you know, if you go by the building biology standards, which are backed, you know, focused on safe and safety and uh, the precautionary principle, they would say anything over one milliwatt per meter squared is of extreme concern. And so it was showing 10 before. Uh, and obviously, uh, you know, this is more delicate than a than a human, so I think I think we'll, we'll find out in the future that there's a relationship going on, an interaction happening here, and it's not good for the quality of the food, like the enzyme component. I don't know, or the the nutrients, or you know, just the probably just the you know the life, the livingness of of fruit or or the, whatever the plant food is. And this would probably go for, for you know, for dairy and eggs and meat as well, you know. But usually they're in the, uh, not really in a place like this. But, yeah, just something to think about. Probably don't want to place uh, anything, you know, food-wise food close to a strong source of non-native electromagnetic fields, particularly radio frequency radiation. That's the most common big problem that people have in their homes that I see. Just something to think about.